guys, it's Christy. Today's video is my Disney haul, my massive Disney haul. This only includes the things I either purchased for myself or purchased or my husband purchased for me. This does not include the things that I purchased for my kids or my kids purchased for themselves or my husband purchased for himself. I don't think he purchased anything for himself. This also does not include the basin haul I've already recorded. I don't know if I posted it already or not, but I did a haul for basin products that I purchased and did not include my kids. This is a massive haul. I'm not gonna lie. I spent way, 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 way too much money on this Disney trip. I think the main reason I encouraged myself to do that, and actually I didn't buy anything at Universal. Um, the Universal was our second to last day. I had already spent way more than I was supposed to. Um, the only reason I didn't discourage spending the money is because I know that we won't be back to Disney for at least two years. So I wanted to get what I could get and what I wanted. And I still did not get the Jingle Bell Sipper Cup. It was out of stock everywhere I went. So I was really disappointed in that. But I think I'll just kind of start with this bag. So these are in no particular order of purchasing. They're just items that I purchased. Um, the one thing that I will say I went, got is this, um, that I got that was outside of Disney, but it was at Disney Springs. It's this Ron John hoodie. I have one exactly like this from Panama City from years ago, and it's all so worn out, I decided that I needed to replace it. Of course, this one says Orlando instead of Panama City. And I actually got the pants, which I didn't get last time, that match it. So that's the first item, and I've actually wore these for one morning. <laughs> that was it, just the morning. So I'll probably wear these again pretty soon. I haven't washed them yet. This next item I have worn and I have washed, and it is this fuzzy, fuzzy Walt Disney World Spirit Jersey. I saw this and just had to have it, died for it. Oh my gosh, I was so in love with it. These next two items my husband purchased for me. He purchased these really, really cute Christmassy leggings, which I have worn in parks already. And these really cute Haunted Mansion ones. How cute are those? So by the last day, I was completely out of money. I couldn't buy anything else. And then we came across the DVC um, counter and they said, hey, if you come talk to us for about an hour to hour and a half, you get four free fast passes per person and a $150 gift card. I was like, okay, sure that's worth an hour and a half of my time. It was excruciating because we knew we weren't going to um, actually sign up for DVC but I was happy to be able to get those extra fast passes that we didn't even use all of because it was our last day. And um, to, in order and able to have a $150 gift card to just spend a little extra. Um, so moving on, this next item is actually a gift from my husband. I didn't know he was gonna get it for me. I didn't ask him to get it for me, but I love it. And it is the attraction lounge fly backpack how cute i'm so excited to have it it was on my want list so bad oh okay the next item is a free item it's a coaster i kept yes that's right i kept the coaster from um the uh, toothsome chocolate emporium by the way that place was so good you should try it out the next thing of course my park maps i'm not really gonna go over the park maps I believe the rest of these items, yes, these are all from the, um, not the character warehouse. We didn't even go to the character warehouse this year, though I kind of wish I had. Um, I went to the cast member outlet warehouse with uh, my friend Kelly from the Mickey Bunch. Thank you, Kelly, for inviting me. And all of these items I got there, I will say that one of my items broke. I'm so so sad about that but it's not broken too too bad so i'll still use it it is this run disney wine the and dine run weekend from 2019 ornament that's where it broke and then oh yeah hey stickers free stickers 
tons of free stickers everywhere. I'm gonna use these, look even transportation ones. I'll use these on packages I send to friends. Um, the next item is another ornament. This one is the um, sneaker ornament run Disney 2019. Take these out of the packages and put them on my tree in a little while. Of course, some more park maps. Oh yeah, some more stickers. More stickers, love stickers, free stickers. Uh, this next item, oh, these are purchased items from the Emporium Haunted Mansion pins. I hope I don't have duplicates. I'll open those in a separate video. The limited edition Animal Kingdom Lodge Christmas pin. So excited to have that one. I think it's limited edition 2000. Um, this shirt, which I was looking at in uh, la at la last year in the um, Pirates Ride, I got at the outlet, so cute, for $10.99. Then, what's this? Oh, yes, so Kelly went over to the um, staff section only, so that's where they kind of keep like slightly damaged items. And this one is just missing this little magnet to let stick. She got me an Animal Kingdom Lodge magnet, so I just need to buy a little magnet to fix it up. So this next item, there's no telling. Ah, those are my pins, those are for later. Uh, receipt. This item, it is a Dream Big mug. Um, I actually got this for my sister. She likes coffee. I'm hoping she'll like the mug. I wasn't really sure if she would or not, I, but I do hope that she does. It's not too screaming Disney on it. It was $7.99. Then I got myself one, except for it's blue. And it says, My Happy Place, which does scream Disney. So um, this one is definitely mine. All right, so this next item I'm super excited about. I got a Jim Shores item. It was on sale for $32.99. So I'm gonna show you this one, and then I'm gonna take it out and display it. So it's a Pirates of the Caribbean one. And he's got a moving factor to him where he moves up and down like that and he was only $32.99 originally I don't know how much originally my guess is originally 90 because I have another Jim Shores I'll have to show you that it was 90 look how cool he is I like him a lot all right, so here's the close-up of the two ornaments that I said I got. Little shoes. And you can see right there why I broke that one, but um, they'll still work. All right, moving on to the next item. Um, I went to the Epcot uh, Festival of the Holidays, so I have some maps here. And also... Some festival guides. I'll be sending these to some friends of mine. And then I bought two pins. I, they actually gave me the wrong pin because I said I wanted the limited edition and they gave me the limited release. But this one's cute as well. This limited edition um, Nightmare Before Christmas pin. And the next item I got is we went to Gico on our first night there, and I got a drink that had this floating in it. So it's my, one of my quote free items. I quote it as free because, you know, we still paid to eat dinner there. One of, the, there it goes, there's one that changes. How cool is that? Um, so the next item I have here is, I think, this is my Haunted Mansion ornament. It is. 
I bought the Doom Buggy Haunted, or not the um, Doom Buggy, the, yeah, the Doom Buggy Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost Ornament. I know some people have gotten this as an outlet, but I ended up paying full price for this guy. I really liked him a lot, and I can't wait to put him on my tree. So the next two items I spent way too much money on, they are some mugs from a Trader Joe's, Trader Sam's. So I got a drink and then I paid the extra for the special mugs. So there's that one, which will go in display. I'm gonna run out of display places. <laughs> and then the next one is the Hatbox Ghost mug. from a Trader Sam's. Awesome mug. Will also go on display upstairs. So the next item, and I think the final item in this particular bag, is my Jim Shores Haunted Mansion item, which I'm super excited about, oh my gosh. Now this guy was $90, but I used that gift card that I got to get it. Check it out how awesome is that i'm in love with my haunted mansion ghost yeah i totally don't can't sing so awesome i love that so much great i was so excited to get that which is why i didn't buy more of the festival of uh, the Christmas festival items because um, we were looking at them and I was like, should I get this? And my husband's like, why don't you go get that Haunted Mansion Jim Shores item you want? And I was like, oh my gosh, you are looking out for me, buddy, because I totally want that. <laughs> so the last bag, <laughs> it really is the last bag. Um, let's see, where do I begin? Ah, yes, my mugs. I got every park mug. So I've got Animal Kingdom. I don't know where I'm gonna put these mugs because my mug cabinet is full. We'll put them somewhere. There's peanuts everywhere. Epcot. Magic Kingdom. and Hollywood Studios. So I went to Disney Springs to see if they had a Disney Springs one, and they don't have a Disney Springs one, but they had an Orlando and Florida one. And at that point, I was kind of like, I don't want to spend any more money on these mugs. Because I was kind of hoping for a Disney Springs one. So also, we went to um, the Food and Wine Festival because we got we caught the last day of that and the second day of the... Uh, the festival, Christmas festival. We also went to the Very Merry Christmas Party, so I've got that stuff. And we got our Sorcerer's Card for the Very Merry Christmas Party. And then we got our free cards that we always get when we check in at the resort. Let's see, this year we got Chip and Dale. Stitch on a surfboard and Went to the Fab Five. I had to count. <laughs> All right, uh, we ate some chocolates from Amaret, or we ate some stuff from Amaret's. Um, I kept the bag just for proof <laughs> because I ate it and I didn't take the video of it. So the next thing we've got here, oh yeah, did some wishables. Um, so I saved the little bags. This is the bags that they come in right here. Uh, my kids got some wishables too, but I got some wishables and then there um, I got Sandy Claus and Zero. How cute. And then I got a Christmas pin from the Christmas party. And then I got this pin for a pin trade that I'm doing, these two pins for a pin trade I'm doing with my friend um, James over at Pen Pals. So I'm gonna send him those. And that's everything. I guess it's just because some of the items were big, it looked like I got more than I really did get. Um, but I really loved everything. I'm so grateful for my husband for buying me some things, putting up with my crap. 
<laughs> and um, I really had a good time. Guys, I didn't vlog a whole lot. I really didn't. It was a family trip, so I spent a whole lot of time with family rather than vlogging. Um, but I did take a lot of pictures. So if you follow my Instagram, you'll see a lot of those pictures. I did vlog a little bit, so you'll see some vlogs coming out from this trip. If you are still, if you follow me, you know I'm still posting vlogs from the last trip where I vlogged a lot. But this one, I didn't vlog too much. There may be a couple of videos. Okay, so that's it for my haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed looking at the things that I got. Um, let me know in the comments if we're twins of anything and if you like the items and which one was your favorite in the next video or coming up in the next, I don't know which one I'm posting first. I'm going to show you the pins I traded and open the Haunted Mansion pins uh, so that you can see them. So until next time, thanks so much for watching.